Welcome back to the Lunch Table Food for Thought. I'm Nico Blitz. Make sure you hit that subscribe button just right down there. We're also on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, YouTube, iHeartRadio app. Um, my next guest, he's from Arizona, but he full on drove. Oh no, yeah. I'm already wrong. Yeah, I'm from Long Beach. You're from Long Beach. Born, raised in Long Beach. But you're in, but you're in Arizona. I was in Arizona. That's oh how I met. shit! That's how I, met him. I moved out Damn. there. Damn. Okay, so let me get my facts straight. He's from <laughs> Long Beach, moved to Arizona, but today he came from Palm Springs. He has this album out that was just released in February. It's called Idol. Yeah. And um, man, this guy has bars. Four fucking days. Yeah. And on top of that, too, he's rapping about, like, very extremely deep and sentimental shit. He goes by the name of Ray Vaughn. What's popping, bro? What's the deal? Yo, I, I appreciate you, bro. You're a real one for coming out all the way from Palm Springs and yeah, all that, yeah, man. Yeah, I had to pull up on my people. <laughs> I, had to, I had to. Sorry for the lateness. No, it's I'm all here. good, bro. So, I mean, considering you got you got bars after bars after bars, who were you listening to growing up? Uh, Everybody. Like, I was listening... Like, my biggest inspiration is Drake. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Drake yeah. is probably, like, my biggest inspiration. But I was listening to everything. Listening to gospel, listening to, to um, Lil Wayne, probably, like, one of my favorites, and Fabulous. My top three is Fabulous. Drake, Lil Wayne, and Fabulous. Those are my top really? three. Like, metaphorically, because yeah. the, the meta, you know, Drake, because of how deep he goes, which mm-hmm. you can tell I go, you know, I'll take that. The metaphors, though, are definitely from Lil Wayne and Fabulous. Of course. Those, yeah. Yeah, and you know it, it's very rare nowadays because not a lot of rappers use metaphors or talk about yeah, really deep shit. They bro. don't care about that, and that's why I feel like it's like it's 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 empty. It's like empty. That's an empty spot for for somebody like me to come in because people don't care that much no more. They say regular cliche lines like "I get green like grass," and you'd be like, <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you really sat down and wrote that and thought that was you yeah know what I'm and creative. And to me, I'm like, you can. I feel like I can tell you that that cup. Is full of water better than he can tell you that cup is full of water. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's literally how. Well, it's. that's why I think your mind is in such a different space compared to like a lot of the rappers who I hear nowadays. Because um, when I'm listening to Idol, you're obviously talking about like a whole bunch of relationship stuff, right? Relationships right. with um, you know, a significant other, also right. relationship with your father too. Right. Oh yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. bro, like I'm telling yeah. you, I listen to that shit front yeah. to back, and I'm over here <laughs> thinking like. Oh my God! Like I'm paying attention to the not only the storyline that you're drawing, but the bar. Like you know what I mean? Just the metaphors that you throw out. I'm just like, damn. As a rap fan, it makes me so happy knowing somebody <laughs> right. is still doing, doing that, that type right. of shit. But I'm trying to the way that I'm doing it. Like I'm trying to do it to where it's not preachy either. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. if I was just rapping and just being like, oh, I'm lyrical, 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 people would be like, people would be like, oh, he's preachy. He's, we don't want to hear that. Like I'm hip. I'm a miracle spiritual. Miracle, like you know, what I'm saying? like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that type yeah. of dude. And I'm not that type of dude. So I'd be like, like I said, I'm gonna tell you that glass is full of water better than he's gonna tell you the glass of water. I'm telling the same story that everybody, prob- not everybody, but a lot of people who of relate course. to me have is just I'm saying it different, you know, cre- more creative than the people who are telling you, however they. Tell you, you know what I'm saying? You Hell yeah! Saying? So that's that's where I feel like that's that's where that comes from. It's just the difference in telling you. So. Hell yeah, man! And um, you know, considering you have this full repertoire of just bars like piled up, like right. why is it that you? It 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 sounds like when you're when I'm listening to Idol, everything is very relationship based. Like, would you consider yourself to be even nah. more of an emotional person? No. Nah, so see, the reason why I even do that, like for the new project that's gonna come out. Like and I think I'm a I'm gonna drop that sometime next month. Okay. Don't have no specific date or the name yet, but um, I I I went viral. The like I went viral. The first time I went viral was for relationship stuff. So I just took that and it's like an industry. So if it works, you don't change it. You get what I'm saying? So You're I, smart man. So I You're keep smart. I keep like okay. Well, when I post about this, they take it. When I post about other stuff, they shy it off. So I'm like, you know what? Let me keep, and you know what I'm saying? I got their attention, and this is going to get their attention. And then once I have their full undivided attention, then I'm going to feed them, you know what I'm saying? Like different music, a different, you know, like who I actually am as a person. Because the relationship, it just works. So I do it. It's real. Everything I'm talking about is real. Yeah. But I would rather talk about other, you know what I'm saying, topics. It's just It just works. So if it works in sales. Well, yeah. I mean, so, if your fan base wants a particular set of food, you got to give them that, that food. Partic- right, yeah, exactly. That food. So for me, it's like, it's hard as an artist to be like, dang, I got to keep recreating something. But it's cha- it's challenging to me, so I like it. But in the same breath, it's like, I'll, I'll be wanting to, 
you know, go. But honestly, whatever album that she put out after Idol, like people could look at Idol and be like, oh, you know, that's he the, can rap. Yeah, yeah he, no, he but, can rap. But even on this, on on the new project, it's like I'm rapping. It's just more deep. It's literally more deep. On that one, I'm talking so much about relationship. It overshadows everything else that you know goes mm-hmm. on with me, like in the stuff that I'm talking. Yeah, about. but what I'm saying is that Idol is to like to your fans. It's like that's, that's why it's called Idol. Yeah, but that's uh, that's why the title is called Idol mm. because. I went viral sitting in the car rapping about relationships. Yeah. So idol when you put the car in the idol and you just sit there. Ooh, so that's why crazy. It, it's idol. Okay. But and then also idol. You know what I'm saying? That right? makes sense. Idol idol means like at a standstill. Like you're not. Mm-hmm. You know. Like it means not moving. No. No movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, I was also seeing. Um, I was creeping on your YouTube page and um, I forgot which song it was, but it was actually about two years old. You were, you were like rapping like one of your songs and it said it was posted about two years ago. Let me just look it up. Yeah. Um, and I was like, wow, did he have this music just like stockpiled? And then he no, ended so, up like, so the way that I did the project is all those songs were videos that went viral. That's what I thought. So there were okay, songs okay. that went, there were videos that went viral and every, and it's still going. Like the songs are still doing numbers on Spotify and doing, you know what I'm saying? So I just like, you know what? Let me record it because I'm, I'm sure people are tired of playing stuff off YouTube and can't close their phone or get in a car, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? And, yeah. I, and then I kind of tapped into the smarter side of marketing on Spotify and, mar- you know what I'm saying, where I'm like, dang, like I can pull in 100,000 streams on my own on a project with yeah. no major... Bet. Well, that's why, to me, it, it just seemed like you had like this whole marketing standpoint well put out because... You made a song, put it up on YouTube. Then I think one of them, the one I'm thinking of, got like five hundred thousand views. Cheating or wasn't worth yeah, it. Yeah, cheating wasn't I, worth I, it. What hurts is that I literally, no cap, I j- I shot the video for that like a month and a half ago, and it should have been out, but the director literally just yeah, just blew me off, and I'm so hurt about that because I that's like one of my biggest songs. That mm-hmm. song hit a million views in a day on like crazy. Facebook and like streams went went crazy. So for me, I was like, okay, if I do this and turn them into actual songs, then I'll be able to make money off of it. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how I just looked at it. And that's why it sounds like that project sounds like a relationship based mm-hmm. project or like the dad one, like the dad two, those one went viral as well. So I was like, you know what? Let me, you know, throw this a little a little, you know, splash or something else mm-hmm. in there to make them be like, oh, he can rap about other things. If you are new, but it, but even so, like a relationship with your father, nonetheless, is still a relationship. relationship which you know? is true. Which is true. I could, I could. You take know what that. I mean? Like, right. like it, it all still right. falls so under relationships. Yeah, so, just relationships so in, in general. general. Right. Exactly. So I get, I get, I get. Yeah, that. and um, you know, what one particular song that I found on your YouTube page too. Um, I think it was like "Rest in Peace to Your Baby Mama" or something. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. all real, man. Everything, all my stuff. That's crazy. Everything is bro. real. So my um my daughter's mom, she died um having my daughter. She didn't die like in the act, Damn. but it was like either her or my daughter. Like so that's why we're this whatever. But like her wow. she it was either her or my daughter and she picked herself and then two months later she died from it. So it was like it all her organs started failing. She basically gave her her heart. It literally everything wow. every organ, like it it took everything from her, like every bit of life from her to have her and she she that's what she wanted she's you know i don't i i don't i don't i couldn't even understand someone who would do something like that but you know like i appreciate mm-hmm. appreciate it and that's why i put it everywhere like it's tattered on my face i have like like i have see. it's i'm dark as hell but it says like <laughs> steph's world right here on my, on my wow, thing. Man. so it's like it that's like i'm pushing the agenda of for her to not be forgotten. You get what I'm saying? Of like, course, man. A lot of people die, and then people be like, oh, a month later, oh, you still talking about her? And I'll be like, not me, but, you know, people be like, you know, it's, you go about normal life, and my me and my daughter's life will never be the same, you know what I'm saying? Because she'll never have a normal, you know, oh, mom and dad, she, Mother's Day, she has to go talk to a rock. You get what I'm saying? So it's, like, it's just stuff like that, that that I'm like, I know a lot of people have that same story but mm-hmm. they don't have a voice and that's why I feel like it's it's on the new project you'll hear it like I talk about it and go into depth like I yeah. got I tell the whole story and like finding out I have another daughter at the funeral like it's crazy like literally well that's why I'm over here just like after listening to your music I'm trying to map out your story like your dad didn't even grow up in your life right and then um you know, your baby mama's mother wasn't even, like, in her life, too. Right. She, so, you know what I mean? There's right. just, like, so, so many machines, situations. Right. right, yeah. Her mom passed away the same way. Her mom died the same way she died. So, it's, it's like, it's, to me, it's just, for me, though, with the parenting, though, it's like, 
I know exactly what not to be, and that's what I, you know what I'm saying? That's how I looked at it. Like, you ain't dead or you, you ain't in jail. You're just not here. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you live in the same city, but you're just not here. Like, you have me on Facebook, but you're just not here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so for me, it just made me like, okay, well, I get it. Like, I, I, I don't be anything like this person. Well, it looks like the key to all that is literally just being present in your kid's life. Right. Is that like I wouldn't? I would at that point. I wouldn't like when I was younger. I wouldn't care. Like I'd be like, it'd be certain times I'd just be like, I'm sick of my mom. You know what I'm saying? It's all that everybody gets. Yeah. Like, man, I'm tired of being over here. I can't. You know what I'm saying? And all my other siblings, except one, they all you know get to go to the other place and. Me and my other sibling who didn't have a father, so me and him are like the closest, mm-hmm. um, were the ones who had to sit and really deal with everything. Like, we literally had to deal with everything. And yeah. then, like, what's cra- even crazier about that is, like, six weeks after my baby mom died, not six weeks, six, uh, like, on she died in May 11th, and then on June 16th, that brother who I was, like, close to got shot in his head. Like, it's, it's crazy. So, the story is just... God, the story, the dude. project is gonna go like crazy when people be like, "Damn, he really it, it unravels everything and tells people." I like, gotta ask <laughs> you this, man how do you how do you handle everything? I'm a person who like, um, I look at everything like it's life, and you you it's worth it. And I might sound crazy to some people, but you be like, you can either be here or be dead. And you know what I'm saying? So, but a a a part of that comes from like dead relatives already. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So for me, it just makes it like okay, it's. Everybody has to die. My brother didn't die. Thank God. He's in jail for murder, though. But um, it's the same day. Everything Fuck, happened. So, dude. so, but um, it just made me like, like I look at everything like you know, it every everything happens for a reason. And it sounds cliche, but literally everything everything happens for a reason because if it, if it didn't, the stars didn't align, then we wouldn't even be here. You know what I'm saying? It, it, to me, it sounds like you you are more than willing to accept the circumstances because you know you literally can't go back. back and right? The yeah, past. I'm a person. Exactly, I'm a person who just like like even arguing. How some people be, you know, the people who bring up, you know, old arguments. I'm not a person like that. I'm like, you know, it's over with, and I just completely throw it out of my mind. I've been through my daughter's mother on my mind, but it's like something where you be like, everybody has to die. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Like, everybody has to die. She just went before me, and it actually made me more comfortable with death because I know when I die that somebody, I know somebody really inside it out on the other side. You, yeah. you get what I'm saying? So it's scary, but it made me more comfortable, like, to be like, okay, when I die, like, I, we got to die. And one day somebody going to wake up and be like, oh, Rayvon died yesterday. Like, and I'm, I'm comfortable with that because already everybody has to do it. Even though it sucks, I have to go, might have to go before some people or, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But to me, it's going to be like, Everybody got to do it. Eventually, all I'm gonna see all y'all. I'm gonna see everybody. <laughs> We're gonna see everybody, everybody on the yeah, other we're side. We're gonna see eventually. everybody on the, yeah. everybody. So everybody has to go. So I'm not really too much. Like for that, it just didn't eat me up as much as it did at first. But after you accept it, so everything well, in my life, I just ex- is it, you accept. Well, you know, when I when I was listening to Idol, right? I think the one the one record that really stood out to me was "Tired of Dealing with Stress." Oh, the depression and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So like even even. Um, so for depression and stuff like that, I even of course with that you fight with like battle depression, and I feel like, um, um, like I don't mean to say it like, I mean like black people we we com- we completely push away mental health, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying, and I, and I say that for my pe- like a lot of us do, and like me telling my mom like oh, I'm depressed as a kid or something, she'd be like you ain't depressed, boy, go take your you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it'd, yeah, be, yeah. it'd be stuff like that where they just deflect it. You know what I'm saying? And then you literally got to deal with it in, on your own. And so I feel like when I'm... Because I'm not depressed. I'm in a great place right yeah. now. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, You know what I'm saying? I'm confident in what so I'm doing. So let me doing. ask you this. Why is it that the black community is so quick to deflect? I have no... I have Because they don't think that is... I don't know why they don't think it's real. I believe it's real because I believe... You know what I'm saying? I have a cousin... 100% who, depression who cut, is You know real. what I'm saying? Yeah. Depression is real. And that's why I be pushing the agenda because I feel like... We don't have like black leaders who do the, you know what I'm saying? Most of our black rappers don't talk about depression. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't talk about like, they don't, they don't talk about that stuff. They talk about bottles and, you know what I'm saying? And it's cool when, it, when the lights is on, but when the lights is off, you deal with every demon in your room. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, and you don't have anything to listen to to help you deal with those demons. And that's why I make that type of music. So, like, I'm not depressed, but I was, I speak on situations when I was depressed and how I felt. When I used to sleep in my car, when I used to have to, pick food out of the trash can because I didn't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I didn't have bro. any money. So it's like stuff like that where that's where I take it to. Like, yo, 
I'm gonna speak for the person who doesn't who doesn't know that there's a way out because look at me and I was probably more depressed than any of you were, but mm-hmm. I turned it and I'm still going through stuff, but still walking through it with my chin up. And so then how out. are you able to, I mean, you know, even though you're, everyone still goes through depression like every so often and, right. you know, we, we're, we're not like, even though you're currently not in a constant state of depression, how do you get out of that? I like literally, I surrounded myself with people like, like I surrounded myself with people who love me and a lot of people don't, you know what I'm saying? Because it's in your head and can't nobody you once it like it's in your head you can't there's no way that somebody can you know help you with that because it only you can help you with that only thing that i did was like i looked up and i was like okay i'm happy with my life because i'm around mm-hmm. people and by by the time i looked up probably like a year had passed but i was working i was you know i was just staying busy to where like it wasn't and it was over a relationship for like my last time i was in depression like mm-hmm. like low low depression when my baby mom died i wasn't depressed it, it just hurt you get what I'm saying? It didn't. Yeah. De- they didn't put me. I was already in a mode where like depression is is up to you, it, but it just hurt. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't. I didn't really go into a deep dark depression. Delete everything off social media. Mm-hmm. I didn't do all that. I was just like now, if at now more than ever, I got to be the one to push her agenda to, to let her story be known, so it doesn't just get swept under the rug like everybody else who dies. So that made me like that. That was motivation. It, it's you know what I'm saying even though it hurt it turned I turned it and channeled it into motivation Damn, so man. but but other people who are depressed they don't know how to channel that their emotions into something else and so they literally got to find you know what they love or something like that to be able to channel it into something else it's, that's just how I feel to to make it all right surround yourself with good people and channel your energy into something else yeah man and yeah. then you kind of you kind of look at your baby mama's death and be like you know I I need to live with the purpose that like you still have that, that is, opportunity right. to live, you right. know, and you can, you have the opportunity right. exactly. to carry her it, name exactly, forward. Exactly. Exactly. I have the, the opportunity to live and you'd be like, damn, that was one of my biggest fears to be like, dang, what if I die before my kid gets here and it happens <sighs> to you? Shit. So that's, that was always one of my biggest fears. Like you'd be like, dang, cause every, it happens, you know what I'm saying? So for it happens, for it to happen another way and it's not in like a shootout or some gang stuff or yeah. something like that. Like you would be like, okay, if I die, you'd be like, oh, he, he died in some gang stuff. He was on, you know what I'm saying? Versus like your, her mother they're doing the act of selflessness, you know what I'm saying, to be like, you yeah. know what, her. Because if it was me, I w- I'm not going to lie, I would have been like me. I want to live. I, it's up to me. So I can't even put, put myself in her shoes and be like, yo, I will wear those because I, I don't know if I would, you know what I'm saying, be able to wear those and be like, you know what, I'm going to go. Yeah, so, man. So it's, it's real. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I'm so sad that we have to cut this podcast short. But man. like, um, I mean, oh man, this is such a good Dude, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Um, Shout out to me, you know how to talk. Should, should have said that. Like, you know how some bro, people get on these little interviews and podcasts? Bro, and you just, do know how to talk. I'm over here just like, we, we we used one topic over a span of like 18 minutes minute. right now, bro. Right. And, you know, I, first of all, like I, I really appreciate the fact that you're able to share your story and also, so, uh, and also share your baby mama's story, too. Right. Because, I mean, these are things that may be considered taboo to right. a lot of people, but these are the things that we need to be talking about. Like, let's stop deflecting these situations. Right. And, you right. Know? right. A lot of people, and that's why I'd be like, even so, but I found a new way on the new project to like grab, to grab more fans and still tell the story. So if you hear like the new music, it has more melody in it, mm-hmm. but it's the same message. It just, it's kind of like a cheat code almost because people will be dancing and by the time they realize what they're listening to, they'll be already like, it's, it's all real music instead of, I just took a pill and, you know, and yeah. over, like, it's not nothing like that. But, but, but the beat and the, the, the melodies and it's going to make you it's think like, make it's, going you think like it's going in that direction. The music is already, but then once you start singing along, you're like, wait, you just buried what? You, just did. you know that that alone kind of reminds me of the way uh, J Cole constructed KOD. Right. You know what exactly, I mean? Like exactly. everything was a little bit more like you know trap drums and right. all that and they, shit. And they accepted that project better than they accepted his project before that. <laughs> all I don't mean where they're like you know it's a yeah. personal album and it's like he's talking about the same he has the same content 
but you guys just didn't take it because it wasn't on these type of beats. Yeah, it wasn't over the trap drums yeah, that so, were really high rent. Right, and so that's I already I kind of grasped that, and that's what the new project is gonna do to get a bigger demographic. I feel. So. No, honestly, bro. Whenever what whenever you do release that project, I'm gonna need you back up in here, bro, because yeah. there's so much more we need to talk, talk about. about. Yeah, yeah. I got, <laughs> once it once it comes out, you'll have a bigger. You know what I'm saying? You'll have a bigger understanding of like who I am, because then you'll be like, damn. Like, where you like, oh, he went through that. It's some stuff that you won't be able to find on the internet that I talk about. You know what I'm saying? And I put it only in music. I don't really, you know what I'm talk saying? Talk about it. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, talk yeah. about it. So when people ask me in person, I'm cool. You be like, oh, how you doing? I'm good. How's everything? I'm good. I don't even, I don't, exp- you know what I'm saying? Because it's, I don't want to bring my energy, you know what I'm saying? A negative energy to their energy. If it, if it is something negative I'm mm-hmm. feeling. So I keep it to myself and, you know what I'm saying? Channel that energy into something positive or channel it into music and then once it comes out of the music it's positive to me because mm-hmm. i can listen to that over and over and over and it says exactly how i feel felt at that point of time you know what i'm saying so, so Rayvon, let me ask you this and this this will be our last question um when when somebody new listens to idol what's the biggest takeaway that you want them to get from from it when they listen to idol mm-hmm. that i mean that's a difficult yeah, that's a question. Like to for for someone who listens to Idol, like no matter what age or you know, whatever you are, boy or girl, um, I feel like if you if you you just take away that stuff happened in relationships, then it'll it can it can help your healing process. Because a lot of people don't think of that. They think everything is peachy and you know what I'm saying? They think that and so I literally give you the gritty side of the relationships yeah. of like, yo, this is horrible. This is what happened to me. This is horrible. But I'm not just talking about one person. I'm talking about multiple people. So it but that shows that I'm already I'm always open to, you know, relate this can happen. And I know that this can happen. But if you have an open mind to being like, you know, this can happen, you can get over it easier mm-hmm. because you've already... Because ex- you're exposed to yeah, it. You're, you're yeah, you're exposed to it. You weren't expecting it because then you're putting judgment on somebody, but you're already exposed and you, you don't put anything past it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's, it's kind of like you're... It, it's kind of like how on Instagram where you see people always posting like... Um, all the best on the highlights of like the relationships right, right, and whatnot. Right, 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 exactly. And you know what I mean? Not, not to say Idol is kind of like the complete opposite it of is. that. It is. I feel like it is. I feel oh, like it's okay. the complete It's the complete opposite of like where you see like, oh, relationship goes. You'd be like, yeah, but then there's other times where those relationships almost didn't make it. Mm-hmm. Some of them do make it, but a lot of them don't. This, this Everybody don't get a ring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, oh, everybody doesn't get a ring. So with that being said, if you listen to it and then it opens your mind to being like, you know what? Stuff happens in relationships. So that way you can... I just want them to take away that from it. So mm-hmm. that way they feel more comfortable with anything that happens in their relationship. And you can better deal with it when things when do, do happen. When do happen, right. You'd be like, you know, because people be like, I listened to your music when I was sad. Like, I was hurt and I listened to your music. And I'm like, but if you would have listened to it before, you already had that. You would have already had that mm-hmm. in mind. And then, you know, it, it just... It lets you know, I'm not the only person going through this. You're not the only person going through it. And it's selfish for you to take it out on yourself. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Well, Rayvon, I feel like this was the first time I did like a full album review with somebody on their project. For real? I'm, uh, yeah, but I'm for real going to have to have you back on here. Yeah, like yeah, most of the new projects yeah, out there. Rayvon, where can everybody find you, bro? Uh, they can find me on um, on Instagram. You can find me on Ray.Vaughn, V A U G H N. YouTube, you can find me on Ray to the Vaughn. And Snapchat. Shit, he's always rapping Ray in his car. Gentleman. I'm always That's rapping in the car. That's why it's called Idol. Um, and then um, Instagram is Ray.Vine as well. I mean, uh, it's Twitter is Ray.Vine. So Ray.Vine. And you put that in anywhere, I'll pop up. Ray Vaughn, everybody. So. This is the lunch table. Food for thought. I'm Nico Blitz. Yeah, yeah. Ray Vaughn, and we out. Yeah.